Hello, hello, hello. This is your reading for November for my Geminis. This is for Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see. What is the energy around my Geminis for the month of November? Please show me. Energy around Geminis for the month of November. Gemini. Seven of Cups. Confusion. Being unsure about something. How you feel about something. What you want to do about something or someone. Scorpio energy here. Um... I'm getting that there, there's an uncertainty with you guys in the month of November. Let's see what's challenging you. What's challenging my Geminis? Two of Wands. Huh. What to do? What to do? What to do? And I definitely can see that with the Seven of Cups and the Two of Wands. You're unsure about what it is that you're going to do. I feel that there is definitely something that you want to do. But I don't feel that you guys, I feel that you lack the confidence in it though. And what it is that you want to do. Scorpio and Aries energy here, Mars energy is present in your reading. Um, this could have definitely be someone, been someone that um, you instantly like broke up with and it was something that was unexpected. Neither one of you really, neither one of you really saw this coming. And um, this could have been a very volatile relationship with this individual. Okay. <clears throat> What's the underlying issue here for Gemini's? Ace of Wands. Huh. How to start over. How to begin. How to initiate something. This is what it is. You guys are really unsure how to make something happen that you know you want to do. I feel like a lot of you have been waiting on this person to um, make the first move or to make it easier for you. You know, because sometimes it's easier to respond than it is to initiate or to act first. So now that I feel this person has not done what you want them to do to make things a little bit easier for you, um, it's weighing on you. It's what this is. Some of you are thinking about going back to someone um, or are hopeful that this person will come back towards you. Aries Scorpio is strong here in your reading. What's been going on in the recent past for Gemini's Queen of Cups? Hmm. Being kind of shut off, I feel, um, but feeling very emotional at the same time. I feel that there have been opportunities for you guys to have a relationship. Um, establish an emotional connection with someone but I feel like there's a situation that is currently weighing on you that has held you back from moving forward with other things with you know other someone's you know so feeling very emotional which is not really a Gemini trait um, so there's something that's really like stirring your emotions up with this person I feel like you also don't want to be hurt, but you know, you're almost at that point where you are willing to take that chance is what I'm getting. Okay. Um, again, Cancer Scorpio energy here. Crowning thoughts for Gemini's. Crowning thoughts for Gemini's. Queen of Swords. There's something that you want to know first. Um, I'm getting that you guys are feeling kind of um, scorned, hurt. There, there's something that you want to like know without a shadow of a doubt first. Hmm. You're going back and forth. 
Now, this is a Gemini trait. <laughs> You're going back and forth between your head and your heart. Those twins are really stepping forward right now because you want to offer, you want to extend yourself, but at the same time, it's like, nope, 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 nope. I need to see this first. I need to see that first. There's something that you want to see that's not wavering. You want to be sure. You want to hear something from this person. You want to hear the truth from this person. You want to wait for them to come towards you. To say something to you, I feel. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy could definitely be um, another ear sign like yourself. This is your soulmate, I feel like. And I feel like you guys have definitely been waiting on them with that Seven of Pentacles energy there. Oh gosh, yeah, definitely waiting on them. And then the Knight of Pentacles spun out in reverse. I feel like you're no longer wanting to wait. You're wanting to go like full steam ahead. In the upright, this is slow as molasses. But no, I think you're ready to move. I think whoever this person is, is taking way too long. Um, I think that you want to be sure that this is your soulmate. That this is the person that, that you belong with. But I'm going to tell you this, that you guys can never be sure. This is something that you have to allow your heart to determine for you. Not your head. You can never be sure in your head space. But you can be sure in your heart space okay that is the thing you have to allow yourself to feel and be vulnerable what's coming in for gemini we have taurus scorpio energy again here <clears throat> what's coming in for gemini's the hermit figuring out what you want to do you're, tr you're tr still trying to figure it out basically See the Hermit's looking right at the Seven of Cups and the Two of Wands. What do I want to do? Should I do it? In your heart, I feel you know that this is your soulmate. The Hermit looks for the star and guess what the star is? Your destiny. Virgo energy here. I feel that some of you are, you know, just kind of leery about how this person feels at this point. Maybe they are shut off. Maybe they won't offer their love to you any longer. Maybe, you know, they're not open to extending themselves right now. So, you know, just kind of reflecting and thinking about things is is what where I see you guys going in the month of November um, and December and quite possibly on into January, okay? Figuring out, you know, what you need to do and where you go from here. How is Gemini looking at this situation? How is Gemini looking at this situation? How do they see themselves? Okay. Oh. Aries energy is here. I feel like you guys are keeping yourselves from reaching out to this person. I feel like there is definitely... Um, uh, temperament issues between the two of you. I feel like there's something that you want to say though. But you know that you're going to have to um, not eat shit, but eat shit, kind of. Like, you know, say to yourself, you know what, I feel like this person, you know, they're stubborn, they, they have um, an anger issue or you know, they're, they're flipped with their tongue or whatever, but I'm expecting that. That's the, that's what it is. Like you're going to have to go into it and basically be the bigger person because you already know how this person's temperament is. Okay. They're probably not going to admit that they were wrong. Whoever this is. This could definitely also be you guys waiting on this person to basically like bow down and say, hey, you know, you know, I apologize. OK, I feel like there's an apology here that either you guys are expecting or that you're contemplating giving. OK. 
Leo, Aries energy. <clears throat> what is the influence here for Gemini? Influence for Gemini. Ace of Pentacles. This situation you feel um, is something special here. It's something special here. Something that you can build upon. Some of you guys are feeling like this is somebody that you could possibly see yourself being with long term. Marrying even for some of you. You know. Some of you guys are feeling like you want to, either you want this offer or you want to make this offer to this person and just really don't know how to go about doing it. Okay. You have two aces here. Hopes or fears for Gemini. Hopes or fears for Gemini. The devil, you do not want to involve yourself in a toxic situation. This is your fear that it will be the same shit over again. You don't want to do that. You're afraid of that. You're afraid of if you get back into it with this person that you'll have a hard time getting out this time. Okay? And that is that is a legitimate fear that, you know, also like you'll never get over this person. It's like all of these thoughts there's something special about um, this person. There's something very special about this person. There's something different about them for you. It's almost like this love-hate relationship, which is very, very hard to get out of and stay out of. Okay, Capricorn energy there. What is the overall outcome for Gemini's? Six of Wands. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Six of Wands. I haven't been looking at how I've been holding these cards. If I'm so sorry. I'm sure I've been way up here. But um, overall outcome here. Six of Wands. Beautiful. Successful. Happy. Getting along together. Um, I do feel like if you guys are the ones that feel like you need to make an apology or you want to make things right it's up to you um, if you feel like that I feel like once you take that initiative and do what you feel like you already want to do I do feel like you guys will, will be successful in the end whatever it is that you are wanting to do whatever your decision is is going to be beneficial for you and you're going to be happy with it Okay, again, Leo energy there. So that's what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.